Yeah, my attack troll's level 5, yay! Alright, I think we're actually good, so... Let's keep on going. Yeah, alright, that catapult is gone. We can push further uh, into the Lonely Mountain. Wait, hold on. This looks scary. What is it? Oh, just some dwarves on fire. Nothing to worry about. False alarm. False alarm. There's more phalanx there. Uh, I might actually just get my whites to just kind of be uh, a distraction and take them out for me. If I get my strongest units just to keep on moving. Actually, you know what? He's turning. He's going that way. Um, I think we might actually... Bloody hell! Alright, this is, this looks like a job for the wild men, just to kind of distract them. Alright, we summoned wild men, we're okay. Let's keep on going. Frozen, 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 unfreeze, unfreeze console! Wards of the mountain, remember this day! Alright, we have my wild men just kind of as a distraction. And now we're getting ever, ever closer to the throne room. Now they defended a lot uh, better than I did. I mean, I, if you remember from when I defended Erebor, I built on the outskirts. But, here they are, there's our army. And let's be a bitch. See ya, dwarves, it's been nice knowing ya. Stop freezing! There we go. Heh <laughs> Proof that you can summon the watcher anywhere. <laughs> I love it. Now, whites aren't very good against the uh, building, so I don't think I'm just going to keep them here in case anyone decides to flank us. And uh, there's King Dane. There is King Gay. No, I'm kidding. King Dane. He's pretty cool. Um, the thing is, oh, these whites have a fight on their hands already. Um, I'm, I plan on using, uh, I plan on using, uh, Mouth of Sounds level 10 power to take out the Watcher. I mean, to take out King Dane. But I won't do it until the Watcher is down. And, judging by this, yep, there's a little Gloin. And I really don't, I might just save the Dragon. I think it might be wiser to save the Dragon. Will he kill this Watcher? I need to go get, I need to get to the throne room. He's killing everything. Oh, you can see they built like a wall there with towers. It's kind of a stupid defense considering we can go around it. I still have yet to lose a watcher. Yes, they just decimated a battalion. Alright, here we go. Dane is all by himself now. Wait, no. He's got a battalion with him. Alright, evil eye mouth of Saren. No, I think I hit a phalanx instead. No! No! Damn you, phalanx. You're walking in front of him. Oh, no. I got him. One hit. That's how we do it. Isn't that just great? You can just one hit him like that. Uh, Alright, let's just get the attack troll to hit that throne. Which I think has, I don't know, like 20,000? I don't know how much health it has. a lot. I want these feelings to die. Because I know... No, don't kill my troll, you dick! Alright, you know what? I think we're in trouble. Go back to base! What are we gonna do? Where are you? Arrow of Volley! There, there's Gloin. Gloin thinks he's, you know, all that. But you know what? They're not all that. Do you know why? Summoning the Dragon. Wow, this game is freezing on me so badly. Oh, the Dragon is here. Now how impressive does that look? Gloin doesn't know it yet, but there's a Dragon about to eat him up. <laughs> Oh, we know he's turned around. Come on, Gloin. Let's see what happens. This is incredible. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, it got him! It one hit him! Holy god. Alright, then let's go back to the throne. Alright, the throne is almost down, and that is a victory. That is a solid victory for us. Yeah, so the drag the summon dragon has twenty thousand health. Actually, hold on, he can fly. He can fly. Let's see if he moves back here. Although the level's about to end because the throne's gone down. Yes, we've done it. 
Wait, let's see if the dragon. Come on, dragon, land for me. Land for me. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> he just landed on top of the battlefield. There we go. So there's something you probably didn't know. You can actually tell him to reposition to other elsewhere on the battlefield. Just as the dwarves were long ago driven from the mines of Moria, now they've been purged from their mountain home in Erebor. Oh man, that was great. What a great victory. I mean, we saw the dragon, we saw him pretty much destroy Gloin, King Dane got owned in one hit, and we got this huge battle still going in the throne room. Now this this is such a great campaign, man. It's just such a such an epic battle, such an epic scale. Oh man, it is really fun. And if you can see behind the the uh, kind of objectives there, uh, uh, the hold on if I do that, yeah, the attack troll is still in the rubble, still uh, kind of basking in his glory. Anyway, this is the end of the seventh mission, also the end of the episode. Next time on the Battle for Another Two, we're going to be going to the f final mission, the final mission on the evil campaign, which is Rivendell. We go to the heart of the elves and uh, destroy everyone there. It's a really, it's a r fitting ending to a fitting... Oh, what the hell? He just, he just, he what? Alright, so he sets my Eastlings on fire and pisses off. Thanks, dragon. Dick. Yeah, anyway. So, um, it's, it's a fitting end to a marvelous game. Uh, I can't wait to play it. I know you guys will probably enjoy it. There's, uh, like all the levels in this game, there's quite a few, uh, secrets in that level. You probably won't believe it. Uh, this is Rudel. I'll see you next time.